Hello everyone, guess what just arrived? That's right, Sketchbox, February 2022. Gosh, I can't even say that. Lovely art on the box. I'm gonna set that aside. We have it all in its wrapping. Oh boy, what do we have here? That looks like some lead. Ooh, it says erasable. What the? Okay. There's some cool stuff. I gotta find the menu here. That's interesting. Alright, this looks like art. That's cool. Shoe art. Who's this by? Matthew Bowman. UK. Alright, scoot that over there. And this will be the menu. And I believe down here is the substrate. Clear print design vellum. That's something new to me. 4 by 6 50 sheets. Whoa. This is like a protective thing? Thing. What a terrible word. Don't use the word thing. So, wow. There's all kinds of info here that I will be looking at later, but if you want to pause it, have a look at that. I've pulled off a sheet here. What next? Should we go with the Delgard mechanical pencil? Sleek looking. I like that blue shiny stripe there. I think I've had a Delgard mechanical pencil before. Which size is this? 0.5. So this is the... Can you see that? I hope so. Delgard 0.5. Vellum. I've never thought of using vellum in my art. I use it in card making a lot. Um, but this feels really different than the vellum that I use in card making, so I don't know. So that's a little out of frame. A Sketcher's Dream Tool, it says. Spring-loaded to help reduce breakage. Mm, I'm really good at breaking mechanical pencil lead, so hopefully that will help. This, I'm gonna skip down one. Faber-Castell Grip Eraser. This is a nice solid feeling eraser. Uh, it's green, so I hope it doesn't like leave green. Let's go and make a a mess of pencil here and see. Yes, it does what it's supposed to and erases and it doesn't look like it's leaving anything on there. No, nope, it picks itself up again later, so... Um, but it does, you know, make a mess. There's nothing left on there. Cool. I like the grips. PVC free eraser. Yep, it's an eraser. It's not super exciting, but... So these are sketched with all the colors of the rainbow with this fun colored lead set. That's kind of cool. Uni, uh, or uni, 0.5. So I guess you could put these in this, maybe? I don't think I'm gonna open those up just yet, because... I'd lose them. And then, oop, here's our sticker. That's colorful and cool. I like that sticker. It's got kind of an interesting uh, graphic look to it there. And what is this? Pilot Parallel Pen 6mm. Perfect for calligraphy or ink illustrations. This pen is versatile and long-lasting. And it has quite the packaging on it. Oh, how nice is that? It's perforation. So that actually is pretty easy to open. Lots of information there, which I will set aside well. What is it? What is it? Maybe I'll have to read up on this. Oh, look, we have, I don't know what this black thing is, and a couple cartridges. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, I might have to read the instructions on this. But check out this nib. That is foreign to me. Foreign to me. So, um... Hmm. But that's, that's what I get this box for, right? To try new things. Um, I think that's probably where the cartridge goes. Let me just set this aside for a moment. And, oh! And figure, this is also a refill pack. So, wow, we get a lot of stuff in this box. It says assorted colors. And there's 12 cartridges. Look at that. Will this camera focus on that? Come on, you can do it. There we go. Look at all those. That's cool. 
Um, but I don't think, I don't know how easy it is to switch between colors. So, hmm. Hmm. And this is the lid, right? Okay. I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to figure that out. And then, finally, we have the Rapid Design Sketch Me. Need a little help with straight lines? Yes. Fundamental shapes? Mm, not so much. The sketch template is a perfect companion. It's got a lot of interesting things. So, wow. This is retail $10.95. Are you kidding me? I don't know. Does that seem high to anyone else? Because, let me see here. It is flexible. And it does have a lot of features, like ruler marks, and it's thin. I don't know how strong it is. I don't really want to find out by snapping it. I just, I'm afraid. Um, you know, I'm also afraid that these markings will come off with time. So, I don't know about that. Um, yeah, let me see. But it's got some cool options here. Let's go ahead and just show you what we got here is, whoops, come on. Okay, well, I didn't do a great job with that, but there's that little, little uh, marking and you can get, you know, whoops, <laughs> oh my goodness. So you can also not get a good shape if you don't focus and you're me, so. There's triangle, um, this might be handy to get a nice straight line in your drawing, and they have like smaller ones. So, oh, and this side has a different kind of bracket-like shape. Yeah, it's got a lot of options. I like the size of it. I think it'll be great for travel, um, but, hmm, I don't know. Okay, so I think... I'm gonna pause here and figure this out a little. Okay, so I have taken a look at this, and you know what's interesting? There's this lovely chart here. The six millimeter is the biggest one. This is huge. And then this little black thing is actually important. It's a nib cleaner. So you take, got, took this apart here. Yeah. And I guess if if it gets caught like fibers or something. You can stick it in between. Let's see if we can get this to focus. You stick it in between and can clean it out. So that, I read, instructions are handy. Now, where was the... Right here is the instructions for putting it on. And you're supposed to insert the cartridge firmly whilst holding the pin unit with the nib pointing upward. Sorry. Boy, I'm not even following the directions. And then, after inserting new cartridge, squeeze gently before use to allow the flow of the ink. Okay. Squeezing. <gasps> Whoops! I see some ink. Okay. Yep, it's going. All right. Yay, I got something to happen there. <laughs> wow. This barrel here is completely stiff, so... I am very unfamiliar with this, um, and I don't do calligraphy, so, hmm. oh, and this guy, whoops, great, let's make a mess, why don't we, this is for cleaning the pen also, it's a pipette included, so let's try the 45-ish, 3-ish, boy, nope, not so good at that, yeah, definitely need to work on my calligraphy technique picked red, dip it in here for, you know, February, February, ugh, I do not feel very confident with this tool, hmm, but there it is, that is the Pilot Parallel Pen, I can't even write, okay, I wonder if you can just use, yeah, I thought, Pilot, can just use like a corner of it. I don't know if that's a you know valid technique, but it's a little easier for me. So hmm, I do not know how often I will use this tool. 
But there you go. I keep saying the same thing. And sorry about that, my phone is talking because I have to get going. But before I get going, I took uh, another, I had to dig around and find a mechanical pencil. Because, you know, I have tons of them and never one when I need one. And I put some of this, uh, this, the Uni erasable, does say erasable, colored pencil in here. It's a point five, so let's see how erasable it is, huh? Ooh, that seems to erase pretty well. And yeah, I guess the thing that I'm a little ugh, stumped at, I don't know if this is permanent ink either, now that I've got it on my finger, is that you've got all these colors, but you only have two tools to use them. Well, I mean, you'd have to take the lead out of this one. You can put it back in there, but I'm going to keep, I want to use, I don't want to try to draw something and then spend all this time switching the stuff. So, hmm, we'll see how that goes. Actually, before I go to, let me grab a, a brush here, and this isn't really dry, but, oh yeah, moves around. Um, so there's that option too of maybe, I don't know, doing an outline or something and spreading it out a little bit right away. But the vellum, it beads up. The water beads up on the vellum. So if I'm going to use the vellum paper, mm, that's going to limit it as well. This is quite a challenge. Well, I will pop back in and draw something. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Okay, so I'm back with... At home, I have a pet rabbit, and so I have lots of furry, fuzzy rabbit inspiration, and I was sketching out different bunnies, and I thought this one, I thought would go well for this project. So, I am going to just trace this guy onto the vellum, and I might try, also I was thinking that artists, you know, like uh, animators might use vellum, for layering and it does say something about layering in here like trying out different things and so I was gonna kind of try to do something with that and yeah I'll probably have to speed this up or it'll take forever because I am one of the slowest and I actually changed also I had tried the um, orange lead in here and I switched it out to a pink and then I'm gonna use the pencil to draw most of the rabbit and then I still have red in here in this huge six millimeter guy so and oh I tried I tried my lettering you know that's not really calligraphy but that's supposed to say hello <laughs> yeah you know there's that all right so I'll probably just uh, speed this up and oh let me just pop a picture of my furry inspiration in here too real quick so you can just enjoy it that, enjoy it that uh, this little drawing right here is from that picture where he was under the Christmas tree and did not want to come back out <laughs> Uh, we love our Henry. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy seeing my creation with this month's box. Mm -hmm.